So I am going to make today these towel toppers for um, finishing them up. And so I wanted to show, this is the pattern that I chose from Craft Warehouse on, um, sorry. So this is the pattern that I'm making and I already cut it. So this is the fabric that I chose and I modified this pattern, made the tab smaller like this right here. And so I already cut that one too. And this this little one. So the good thing about these is that you only need one towel and you can make two out of one towel. So it's a pretty economical gift. Or even if you plan to sell these for the holidays, um, you know, it's pretty economical. So what I did is that I folded this one like pleats like that. For the other one, I'm just going to um, see if you can see it here. I'm just going to fold it in half, mark the half point here, and then um, I'm going to fold it again and again. So double fold it like that. So it's kind of you know, has a, a different look, a different like slick look. So if you want that or if you want the, you know, gather here, either way is fine. I'm just going to hold it together and I'll, I'll stitch it at um, half an inch seam allowance approximately. What's important is that the width here is six inches because the width of this is six inches. So that's important. So I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine now and I'm gonna take this here real quick. And I like to backstitch, so I'm trying to do both lives here on the TV and I mean on YouTube and TikTok. So I have it here. Now, I now I'm going to stitch these together. And I the pattern says to use some sort of batting to, I guess, protect the fabric. I should put some interfacing here if you want to. Uh, I'm going to add snaps to this. So it's good to add like an interfacing or something to protect your fabric because you're going to open the hole, you know, for, um, for the snaps, right? So I have to keep moving this. Okay. So oh, I didn't do that. But I'll use Fray Check, and that should, uh, that should, or you know what I can do too? I can, let me see, I have some, um, hold on. I have some interfacing here, and I can just iron it real quick. I keep my scraps here in the little drawer that I have. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add a little bit of interfacing on both sides, kind of like along the top, because that's where I'm going to place the snaps. So it makes no really no point of trying to do it all over. I mean, you can, but eh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I am going to take my scrap interfacings and I'm just going to place it there like that okay and I'm going to do the same on the other side and I'm going to do that for both of these 
we're making two today. So right sides together. Okay, you're placing your interfacing. There, and my iron is heating up. And again, this is just to protect my fabric because I am going to open a hole for the snap. And I like, oh, look, I almost made a mistake, you see? Sometimes I cannot talk and do at the same time. So if I stay quiet, I'm sorry. It's just, <laughs> I'm trying to stay focused because <laughs> I will mess up if I'm talking too much. So, sorry for that. Uh, that's too skinny. I know, I got, um, this is a lot of scrap interfacing that I don't throw it away. I keep it because I never know when I'm going to use it, like this right now. You see, just a little piece like that. That's all you need sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to press it and be right back. So here's one with the interfacing. I'm like, I can't. Okay, here's the other one. You can probably see it better that way. And let me see. Uh, you can probably see it better that way. Here's the other one. Okay, perfect. Okay, now, now that we have them all, I need to match the ones that I'm, so this is going to be the front. Okay, let me see. Okay. Perfect. This is going to be the front. This is going to be the back. So eight sides together. Okay. And I just put a couple of pins. The beauty of this pattern is that there are no curves. So if you are new at sewing and you don't really want to try curves, this is the pattern for you. Okay. And we're going to stitch it along the sides on the top and around. You're going to leave the side open but before i do that let me do this i almost forgot i like to turn the hem up before i take it to the sewing machine because that way i know my hem is ready and i don't have to fold it after with the with the 
seam allowance stitched and all of that. So I just, and I'm eyeballing this. But if you want to be accurate, the pattern here says the hemline is an inch. So you can, you know, lift it, fold it by about an inch here. And so make sure that your edges match. And then I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and stitch it. That way it's ready and I don't have to fold it after the fact because that is just cumbersome sometimes. So I'm gonna do the same here. Now, if you want to be more accurate, you can also take your ruler and uh, a marking pen, an erasable. This is not an erasable. This is the erasable. Marking pen and you can mark one inch here. Okay, okay, there you go. One inch on one side and one inch on the other side. Bam. And then make sure you fold it up. Uh, okay, along the, towards the wrong side of your fabric. You can finger press it. Or you can use, um, you can iron it if you want, if you have the iron. Or you can use this little tool that I use all the time that is, is great. <laughs> I mean, I already have the iron hot, but I will have to get up and go to bed. Okay, so fold it here along the one inch mark. And... There, and this fabric just really folds really nicely. Now I have extra interfacing that I don't want, so I'm just going to trim that off, okay? Okay, and of course, wrong sides, to, I mean right sides together, wrong sides together. Okay, so let me actually trim this off too. There you go. And now my hems are folded. And when I stitch it and I turn it right side out, my hem, it's already in there. And I don't have to worry about trying to fold it after the fact. Now, this one is the skinnier one. It's the same when you stitch it. It's the same, you know, it's not difficult because there are no curves or anything. It's only when you're going to fold it that this one is going to take a little bit longer time to fold because it is so skinny. Okay. So I'm going to take it to the sewing machine now and I'm going to stitch it at a quarter inch seam allowance. And that's what the pattern here has. See the little drawings on the bottom? On the pattern, a quarter inch seam allowance. And I'm going to start at one corner. When you get here to the corner, you lift your presser foot, you pivot your fabric, make sure your needle is down. Okay, so that's important. Make sure the needle is down. You turn your fabric, you keep stitching, you get to the side, you turn your fabric, keep stitching and all that. One way that I have shown other people um, to do, and, and it works for them, you know, is to actually mark your quarter inch here at at the point that you're going to um, turn, okay? That way, um, when you're stitching, you know, oh, okay, I got to that point. Now I can turn my fabric. So that has helped me and has helped other people, so... Why not? Let's share it here right now. <laughs> okay. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just taking my ruler and I'm marking a quarter, the quarter inch mark right there where I know I have to turn. So like in this pointy corner here, I know I have to turn there. So I can just mark 
a quarter, my quarter inch marking right there. And uh, it will help me, you know, when I'm sewing that I know, okay, I stop there. I leave my needle down and I turn my fabric and I keep stitching until I get to the next point, put, leaving my needle down, I'm going to pivot my fabric, keep stitching and so forth. Okay, so I'm going to take this to the sewing machine now. Both of them, okay? I'm, let's do it all together at once. So, of course, you, you want to start stitching where you have your markings because there's no point of marking it if you're not going to stitch on that side. So make sure you do that because I've done that too where I put the markings and then I start stitching on the other side of the fabric where I didn't mark, so... Duh. okay so quarter inch foot quarter inch seam allowance i start and stop i back stitch because I, this is fab is cotton and if you're gonna fold it it's gonna go through a lot of things so you start one two three back stitch one two three and then keep going i got to my point my needle is down if your machine doesn't have the needle down position, make sure you turn your hand wheel towards you and leaving the needle down. You lift your presser foot, you turn your fabric, you lower your presser foot, and you continue. Sorry. And then here's my point. I made it to that other point. My needle is down. Lift the presser foot, turn the fabric, Continue. There you go. I got close to my point. It's not exact. It's not exact. And don't worry if it's not, okay? Like, don't beat yourself up. It's not, sometimes it's not going to be exact. And there. Turn. Keep going. Turn. Keep going. Maybe I should make the stitching a little smaller. Okay, there you go. Turn. Perfect. Turn. And now that I reached the end, I am going to back stitch again. So one, two, three, and forward one, two, three. And then I just cut the thread here. And here it is. Okay. Let's do the other one. Same thing. Sorry, <laughs> I, kept, I kept the foot on the pedal. <laughs> oh. Now, say you didn't mark this because I didn't mark this one. And you decide, well, you know, you can mark it right now. You don't have to do it before you get to the sewing machine. But if you mark it right now, you just put your your um, ruler there and you just find the, the, the area where it's going to pivot, right? And you just put a little mark there. And um, you can do it here, too. I mean, ideally, you want to do it before. But if you don't, again, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. We can, we can live with this. And, and you'll learn eventually to um, just do it, like I say in Spanish, alojo por ciento, or eyeballing it, right? You just eyeball it. Oh my God, my foot is fast today. <laughs> I keep pressing the pedal <laughs> so fast before I turn it. Oh, come on, Alejandra. Okay. Okay.
It depends on your stitch length. If your stitch length is a little too long, you may not be able to hit the point. <laughs> so if you notice that you want to be exact and you're like a little too off from the corner, you can adjust your stitch length to a shorter one, like two and a half millimeters. I have, I keep mine at three, three and a half. I have it at three and a half right now. Let me change it to three. Uh, I think the three and a half is a little too long for this project. Um, I think the three is perfect. Yeah, the three worked out perfectly. And then here, when I get to the bottom, just backstitch. Done. Okay. You have both all done. So we're going to turn them inside out. But before we do that, Yeah, I can use these. You're going to trim the corners. So I like to trim them like that a little bit. And then these corners here where the tab begins, you're just going to cut a little nudge there. That is going to help when you're turning your fabric inside out and turn and, and cut the top here, you're going to cut it straight. Okay. And we do the same with the other one. So right there where the corner is, you're going to trim that and you're going to trim the sides. And, oh boy. Okay, so I'm gonna trim this and I'm gonna trim this. Okay, perfect. Let's turn this inside out. Now for the skinny one, it's a little bit uh, complicated to turn it inside out. Not complicated, it's just that it's so skinny, my finger doesn't get all the way there. So what I do, I have I have this tool. It's actually for, uh, for clay. I've never done clay. But I found it at the store, and I saw the, the round tip, and I thought this will be great for when you're turning fabric, you know, to push it. So I use that and I use some sort of twisters that I have here. I use these also to turn my fabric. So I just get my hand in there as much as I can. <laughs> and um, I try to push my fabric with my finger as much as I can. Okay, so just start turning it, turning it inside out. Hi. <laughs> so let's see. This is when the little tools come handy. This one to help you kind of pull the fabric through a little bit. You only have this problem with the skinny one, you know, the, the, the skinnier tab. The other one is easier to turn. You have more fabric to move uh, the fabric around. Um, but it's, it's, it's a matter of preference, really. I mean, if or also a matter of like how much room do you really have in your kitchen or in your bathroom to hang these things. So 
see. Okay. Just be patient. Be patient with this. Imagine I made eight of these. I was like, by the eighth one, I was like, oh, I'm ready to not do this again. But here I am doing it again. <laughs> you know, we all need a break sometimes. But Okay, so when it gets to this point, you see like most of the tab is out. Then I get this tool and I start like pushing it that way. And this really makes it good because I can uh, give it the, the little shape, you see. Perfect. See, I pushed it all out. Now I turn it inside out or right side out, sorry. And, um, and it's, it's done, okay? I am not going to top stitch it yet. I am going to insert the towels first and then I top stitch it when I go around it. And I'm going to fold it in there a little bit. Okay, give it the shape. Uh, sometimes if your stitching is not right, <laughs> you have to work with the fabric after the fact. <laughs> okay. Now this one. Like I said, this one should be easier because you have the ability to get your hand in there easier, you know? Perfect. See how beautiful that is going to... Oh my gosh, that's going to be gorgeous. Okay. And then I use my little tool again to kind of push some of it out. And look at the pointy. It's so pretty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice, right? Okay. So here we have. Now, I am going to. I still need my pins. I don't need this anymore. I can put it back. I don't need this anymore. I can put it back. <sighs> trying to stay organized that's a whole nother <laughs> project <laughs> okay so this one is it six inches wide because i didn't measure it a bit 20 what did i do where's the 20 oh the 20 is here yep uh, it's a little over six so maybe that one will fit in this one Okay, so pretty much make sure you find your right side, the one side that, because when you add your snap, you're going to fold it, and that's how it's going to look. So make sure you find the right side, and the right side of your towel will be this section where it's folded nicely, and then here on the back, you see how, it's not that it's not folded nicely, but you see the hem going up, that's the back. So you want the front of your towel insert it in the front of your topper so you're just going to insert it in there and you know you can insert it about an inch in make sure that you insert it don't leave it right at on the edge of the topper because when you're stitching it you want to make sure you catch all the layers and if you don't uh, push the towel in really good you're not going to catch all the layers Ask me how I know. <laughs> okay, so, and, and one tip is to get your towel, you know, the edge of your towel, all the way to the top here all, uh, on the first pivot. So you just put a pin, in, a pin in there, yeah, or a clip or whatever you have. Uh, we're almost done, you guys. This is going to be going to be good. Okay. And then the same there. So you see, okay. Now I'm going to do the same with the other one. So we work in batches like that. You do all of it at once. So you don't have to keep going back and forth doing the same thing. You just do it all at once.
and I am going to push it. Okay, so make sure all my fabric is in there, everything is in there. How cute! Look, gobble, gobble. Oh my god, this is gonna be too cute. Okay, and oh, wait a minute, is this the front? This is the front, you see. I did it wrong. I'm so glad I checked. <laughs> I told you, if I talk and, and do this at the same time, I'm a mess. Okay. Yeah, because I want the little turkey in the front. I fussy cut this so that the turkey will be in the front and then the little tab will go in there. Okay, so uh, well, let's see. Perfect. So this is the back. This is the front. All my fabric is there. Beautiful. Now I'm going to top stitch. I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. And I'm going to stitch it at one eighth of an inch seam allowance all around the edges. Starting, I usually start at the bottom and I back stitch, bottom, top, around, down, and then back stitch. You can uh, iron it if you want to before. If you want to give it an extra, you know, uh, crispy look, um, especially the. <laughs> Especially the this one, the tab that is, is skinnier because it kind of looks a little wrinkled. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'll be right back. Okay. Oops. <laughs> I don't want to fall. Okay. So there you go. See? Uh, and make sure it's not crooked. Oh my God. This looks crooked. Okay. Yes, please. Make sure that your topper is not crooked. <laughs> sure it is straight <laughs> that would have been not good but. does it look straight now yes it does right yeah that's all oh, how cute this is gonna be too cute okay oh, i have a feeling i gotta push this one up a little yeah Okay. Perfect. So take it to the sewing machine now. Let's do this. Let's get this a little bit closer here. And I'm going to take this one here. Okay. So I'm going to start with this one. And I have my little owl here that really helps keeping the fabric in place. Okay. So you make sure that when you do this, that you push your fabric, okay, that your towel is in there. And for the bottom, I usually do a quarter inch seam allowance. Um, that's just a matter of preference. I, I just want to make sure I catch all the fabric, okay? That's, that's it. Okay. 
this can get a little bulky, but if you spread your fabric, if you spread your towel along the six inches, you should be okay. Lift. So see my needles down. I lift my presser foot. I pivot my fabric. I lower my presser foot. My needle still down. Keep going. I got really close to my edge here. And I keep doing the same. I am not going to place any markings because now this is the outside of the, 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 the finished piece. And, you know. slow down my machine because I'm going way too fast. Okay. No, not too much. Okay. Next one. Did I catch the back? <laughs> I caught the back. Okay, gotta double check always. little bulky in your towel section just take it slow I know I have to change the needle and so I'm being careful Okay, let's uh, now finish this up and um, I trim off any little pieces of thread here. So 
sorry guys if I'm ignoring anybody. I just, um, I need to keep it. <laughs> I need to stay focused on this or I will mess it up. I'm not used to um, working and talking at the same time. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Perfect. So now... Now we can add the snaps to these and they will be ready. Oh my gosh, they're going to be so cute. Uh, for the snaps, um, I usually, I have my camp snaps. I only, um, I bought these plastic snaps. I don't usually, um, here's my freezer tape. I don't usually use plastic snaps, but I use them for this project. And so I just got these off of Amazon. They're okay. They're not cam snaps, but they're okay. Um, so far they've worked. So I'm I'm okay with it, you know. Now for the whole punch, I still use my die, my cam snap die. Here it is, my uh, but I don't I think I'm I think I'm going to try the hole here. And the pattern gives you at least the where the placement for the snap here on the top. It, they don't give you the placement on the bottom. So you pretty much can place it, you know, wherever you want. I still want to see the little turkey. So I'm going to put it like up there so, so, that, so that you can see the turkey. Right, that's the cute part of it. So I'm going to use my cam snap, my die, my hole punch die for cam snaps because let me go get it because it's easier for me. Here's the, I can put this away. I don't need this anymore. Okay, I don't need the patterns. Well, no, I'm not going to use the patterns. I, I'm just going to decide which side I want to, where do I want to place it, and what color. Huh. <sighs> the color. I think I'm going to do this green color for both of them so that they can be seen. Yeah, I'm going to do the green color. Okay. So here's my die, my whole punch die in this little box. This is the 2.5 millimeter die from my cam snap um it, it this is like the best purchase i've ever made <laughs> i'm not an affiliate of these people but i'm telling you this is like the best purchase i have ever made you do not know how much i struggle before trying to open the holes here in the fabric to get the snaps and whatever. Oh my God, it was such a nightmare. And I bought the die, the hole punch thing. Problem solved. Okay. So I'm just going to eyeball it again. This is how I do things. I'm sorry. I, I For this one, I want the flower to be seen. So I love the little flower. So I fussy cut it too for the flower. So I don't want the tab to cover the flower. So I'm just going to put the tab right there. And I think right here in the center, that looks like the center to me. That looks like a good spot where I'm going to put the hole. So I just put my fabric in there and I eyeball it in. Perfect. It cut all, it cut through all the layers. Look, here's my owl cut through all the layers at once. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Perfect. So that's one. And then like I told you, we do all at once, all the steps together, right? 
So again, I'm gonna fold it. I wanna see my little turkey, so cute. And so I am going to put the snap right here close to the little turkey's eyes. <laughs> okay, that's where it's gonna go. That's where it's gonna go. That's where it's gonna go. <clears throat> Perfect. Voila, move it. And there are the holes. It's it's perfect, you guys. It's perfect. Now I um I put a little bit of fray check. And that's just because I'm paranoid. Because so if you have your uh interfacing in there that you know protects the fabric. Now I still do this so. Paranoia sometimes takes over. Okay. And I put and I cover it with my little pin. <laughs> okay. For this plastic snaps, you have four pieces. We're going to need eight. Okay. So we have the two kind of covers, right? So two and two. And then we need uh, the Audi and the Ini. <laughs> you know, this is the one that it's going to be inserted. So I need one of those. And I'm going to need another one. And now I need to find the... Okay, so this is the one that is going to be inserted into. And I need two of those. This is two, two towels. Okay. And that can go over there. Perfect. So the part that is inserted to is goes down here at the bottom. So I take my cover and I put it on the back. So this is the back of my towel. And I want my cover there. And then um, I said this is the one that, that in it that is going to go in there. So I just kind of press it a little bit, you see. And then take the tool. I put that rubber in there because it was just opening up and coming out of the box. Okay. And then um, I place the back on the bottom of the plier. Make sure that it, it's in there, and then I just press it. And now we're going to do the same with the other one. Okay. Like that. Okay. Press it. And that. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my battery's dying. No, don't die back. Not right now. Not right now. Okay. Next is the same. This is the front. It's a pretty front. And um, I am going to... I'm going to put the top snap, the cover goes here, and then the part that will go into, like the one that the Audi, as I call them, the Audi, is going on the top. And then here on the back again, so both covers go in the back, okay? And then this is the one that is going to, that has the, the in. And <laughs> now, okay, this is beautiful and it took under an hour. So perfect little gift or to sell this holiday season in under an hour. Okay, go now, go make some, okay?
Bye. <laughs>